Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're gonna take a look at the Emacs Easy Pilot. Hopefully that's focused on the Emacs Easy Pilot box here. What it is, is this is an FPV quad. Now, if you don't know what an FPV quad is, that's when you see guys on YouTube, like me, every now and then, I fly a quad where I put on goggles, I see through the camera in the front, and I fly at ridiculous speeds, low to the ground, up in the air, do flips, twirls, go through anything I want, because you have full control. Unlike a camera drone, like a DJI, or Autel, or Unique, or Hubson, or Fimi, any of those drones, those are considered beginner drones, because you get a box, you pull them out of the box, you go fly, they have GPS, they just sit in the air and you can figure out the control slowly and get better and better. The skill for those comes in your ability to fly the drone and operate the camera at the same time. However, in the FPV world, your skill comes from your ability of your little brain here to make this hand do something and this hand do something. So Emacs knows a lot of people you know, shy away from the FPV world because it's very difficult, especially if you have bad habits from flying, you know, camera drones like DJI drones. It's very difficult to switch your brain over to an FPV quad. So this is what this is. It's designed to allow your brain to switch slowly. So what comes in the box? Well, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you an unboxing in detail. But right now, let me just show you the three main components. Look at my other camera over here. So you get the FPV quad, a controller, FPV goggles. Yes, those three items come in the box. So what I'm going to do next before I go fly it is let me just show you how the whole quad system works. Check this out. And now a super quick explanation how everything works. Very simple. Take your little drone here, put your battery and slide it in. There we are. Then connect the battery and the drone will turn on. Flip it over, we should see some nice little green light flashing. So we're ready to go. Next, take your controller powered on. Make sure your throttle button, which is right here, your throttle joystick, make sure it's all the way down. So one short beep is on and one long beep is off. So short beep, there we go. So this remote and our little quad here are kind of connected, but not fully yet because it doesn't know what you want to do. Keep your throttle down. On the right, you have a three position switch. Bottom is beginner mode, intermediate, advanced mode. So if you put it in beginner mode, the only joystick that operates the drone in flight is this one. That's your takeoff and your altitude hold. You would just set it at a certain location and everything would be good. So let me just show you how that works. So the first thing I have to do is arm the drone, which is your left switch. Your left switch arming the drone will only work if the throttle is all the way down. Watch what happens. Lots of flashing going on. We are armed. As soon as I move this up, this thing is going to fly up in the air. Here we go. Watch this. There we go. So now I use my right joystick to move the drone around. Try not to crash in the thing. Go forward. Well, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. And the altitude hold is controlled with your height of your left joystick. So that's pretty much it. You use just the right joystick. See, I'm just flying with the right joystick. Ignore my messy basement. All right, next mode on here is intermediate, middle switch. This is the best one to fly in for guys like me because if you know how to fly FPV, this is how we fly FPV. All it means is your left joystick now will cause when you move it to the left, you're going to yaw the drone, spin it this way, go to the right, spin it this way, and uh, you still have altitude hold. So if you just leave it in one spot, it will stay at that height. Your right joystick is forward, backwards and sideways, not turning, but sideways. So when you go like this, it just goes sideways and sideways. That's it. Easiest to fly in my opinion. So once again, arm it. There we go. And take it up. I control the altitude with the left joystick, the altitude hold. I can move it around. I can move it side or side. Bring it over here. I find this much easier to fly if I want to spin it. This is your yaw. There we go. Spin it that way and spin it the other way. And the last mode on here is advanced mode, which would be up. All advanced mode does is exactly the same as intermediate, except that now your left joystick, you can really control the height. There's no more altitude hold. So you're just going to control it as you're moving. And I should also mention, you're going to have a lot more throttle control and power. So here we go up. We can take it up nice and smooth, or we can take it fast. Since there's no altitude hold, I am controlling it with my left joystick and I can fly it around down here. Fly it sideways. This is, this is really good. If you can fly this quad in advanced mode or intermediate, you can fly a real FPV, big, big FPV quad, like the ones on my wall here, 
or the ones on my wall over there, or the ones on my wall over here. Advanced mode is really good because you can fly nice and low, move around, go through things. I can go around nice this way, come back this way. You can't do that with altitude hold because you can't control the height. But in advanced mode, it's really decent. Bring it back and I'll go put back on the landing pad down here. And I missed it totally. All right, so now that you've seen the three modes on the quad, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly it around the house and show you the FPV video that comes back inside these here goggles. Now I have to tell you, look what's on my face. These are glasses, these are prescription glasses. So you can't put this over my glasses. As you can see, if I put the strap over my head, they're not gonna fit. So that means if I take these off, I'm kind of blind because I'm far sighted. I can only see things far away. So books and stuff are blurry. And since the screen is really close to my eyes, it's blurry. So for a guy like me who wears glasses, I can't use these. But if you have a tiny eyeglass prescription, like really minimal, or you don't wear glasses at all, these are perfect. So what I'm gonna have to do instead is wear my fat shark goggles, record the video that you're gonna see and uh, I'm going to show you that now. All right, I got my fat shark goggles here. These fit on my eyes and there are prescription lenses in it. It's like wearing my glasses inside. Rather expensive. So if you're going to get into the FPV drone world, these are quite pricey. The little quad is ready to go. And I'm going to put my little controller here in intermediate mode. And I might switch it to advanced. If I do, I'll tell you. Okay, so intermediate mode. I should be able to switch this. So I've got it on the floor and we're all set to go. So bring it down. There we go. You can fly this really slow through the house. It has to be very slow for beginners. So going through, going down my hallway here. For beginners, it's pretty good because you don't really need the left joystick that much. Like I'm moving joystick up and down and it's very slow to respond. So you can't get into trouble too much. Going through my little family room here. I'll try to go as fast as I can. There we go. That's full speed. Going up. Make sure I missed that table. There I am right there. I'm going to come around my shoulder, over my head. <laughs> Ooh, it didn't like my head. All right, now I'm going to put it in advanced mode because I found intermediate mode for a guy like me. It's a little too slow and I need full controls, responsiveness and speed and everything else. So let's put it in advanced and see what happens. Disarm it, put this switch up. There we go, we're in advanced, here we go. Now the cool thing with advanced, I can stick the drone right in front of me and fly from right there because I can control the throttle. So I can bring it up nice and slow and take it out. That's the theory, let's try it. All right, so you see there's a box in the way, I gotta get over that. So let's see if this works. Arm it, throttle, there we go. Nice and slow over the box. And look at that, whoa, oh, look at me go down the hall. That is more my speed. Okay, so let me just get used to this for a second. I'm going up and down here. There we go. That's more my speed. Yeah. Get through the hall again. So as you get better from beginner mode to intermediate to advanced, you will then get be able to do this fast. Now, obviously it's made that if you do advanced, you probably want to go outside. Watch, I'll just spin around, head back. You probably want to be outdoors for this. Let's bring it back this way nice and slow. I'm still in advanced mode. Let's see if I can land it on the table right in front of the camera. Nice and slow. You can see me sitting there. Whoa, get over the box. I'm on the box and down. There, I'm looking at me. Hey, I made it. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, my final thoughts on the Emacs Easy Pilot. Well, it is definitely for beginners. So if you're like me, I'm an advanced FPV quad flyer. Very hard for me to fly it in beginner mode because as you saw in my demo, you only basically use the right hand controller. My brain wants to use two hands. Very hard for me to switch my brain over to just using that. But if you're a beginner and you've never flown FPV before, you could probably master it pretty easy. It's probably gonna be the easiest for you because the drone will just sit in the air and you just move one joystick, that's it. That your brain has nothing else to do. So this is perfect for beginners. And then as you get better, switch it to intermediate, you have altitude hold and you can use both joysticks so you can change the altitude a little bit up, a little bit down and go forward and just like a real FPV quad but in very slow motion. Very hard for me to fly like that because I need instant response. So in advanced mode, easy. It was perfect. It was just like a real FPV quad. 
So this has all three settings. You get better, you get better, then you get pro, and then you go buy yourself a real big, nice FPV quad and some nice fat shark goggles. Although, if these work for you, they will work with the pro drones. The only thing that won't work with the pro drone is this. So if you start off with all this and then later want to invest $2,000 into a, a kit of FPV stuff, because FPV is very expensive, you can't use this because you need a programmable radio to work with those and you need something long range that goes really, really far. Huge signal, antennas, everything. This won't do it. This is just to get you started. That's why this here little unit is very inexpensive. So what's coming up next is an unboxing. You can stay and watch that if you're interested in this FPV quad from Emacs. I would say stick around and watch it because you do get an awful lot for the price. It's really good. And after the unboxing, well, there's the credits because I'm done. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the unboxing and uh, check out links below because I think I put a few there where you can find this here quad. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Catch you in the next one. And now a super quick unboxing of the Emacs EC Pilot. <laughs> Opening up the box, what do we see? Stickers, instructions, a drone, spare props, charging unit, tools, radio controller, FPV goggles. Taking a look at everything. First, we have the stickers here. You're going to put that on the drone to customize it any way you want. Next, you can see our toolkit here. That's the charging unit. I'll take that out in a second. The drone and the spare props. This is how you charge up your battery. Plug this into a USB port. Plug your battery in here and it charges up. Pull the drone out. Has a little bit of weight to it. Nothing on the the top there's your camera for your FPV flip it upside down it comes with a battery right here it's going to be a one cell battery just connect these two cables together and it is going to fly first charge up your battery it is for beginners so you do have brush motors so that you don't chop your fingers off and you can fly it indoors or outdoors next we have the controller and it is rechargeable a little USB charging port right here and they do give you a USB cable so no batteries required whatsoever you have your switches on the front one will be there you go that's an arm switch and that will be your one two three one one, two, three. Three positions for beginners all the way up to advanced. And these are probably your trim buttons right here. Next, we have the FPV goggles here. Very good for beginners because you don't have to buy a set. And you could probably use these for a few other drones. Buttons here to change channels. Some setting buttons here. And on the side, I notice that you have the ability to slide it forward and backward. So that means if you wear glasses, it might help with putting everything into focus. There's your screen inside. I'll power it on to show you what it looks like. In order to power it on, you need a battery. This is the battery here and it is USB chargeable. You just plug this other end into your FPV goggles and uh, they will power up. Spot right here to plug this in. The battery fits right here in the back of the headband. And if we look at the goggles, what's that? They're on. We have everything working. Now it, they just require a signal from the FPV race quad. Here we have the FPV little race quad. The battery is in it. So uh, what do you think this weighs? Let's check this out. 46 grams, very light and away under any regulations. And this concludes my review of the Emacs EC Pilot. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Links are below to where you can find this here drone. I do know it's all over the world on many Chinese sites as well as Emacs. So uh, check out the links and uh, hopefully it's something for you. A lot of fun for beginners. Take care, catch you in the next video.